build again it's a little dark but it's tonight all right. we're joining you on the floor so we're going to show you kind of lay out uh how to set up the switcher so that um it's kind of we conceptualize it in our brains just going to lay out and show you how it's going to be wired up we if we can talk over contra jesus yeah the play choice 10 is on a mike likes to turn on mode. every single game to not every game. Work on one on the floor. Here's a 6 and one switcher. Um, already done the ground mod to it. I didn't do it. The person I got from it did it. And not forget our trusty dusty condenser board. This it's is for so dark in here. Now you can go grab your light. That's too much. Hang on, I'm going to just use the flash on the camera see if that helps. Oh no. Is that You're better? It's better because I can see what you're talking about can now. I but high definition now? You look like a ghost. <laughs> this is my kick harness condenser board. Switcher. MK1. Can you hold it up? This is MK1 mounted to a piece of plywood. That's how it came. And we're going to show how to connect, you know, proverbially the whole thing up before we actually stick it in the cab. I'm actually going to take some of these and L brackets these L brackets <laughs> how did you know they were L brackets you're so smart and mount them to this board and stick this in the middle of the cab with a uh, I need to mount that a little better um, with MK3 or 2 I think I put 3 on here because it's the lightest of the two boards I'll put it on this side and this will be in the middle of the cab but before we do that, it's going to hook up some higher harnesses. Here's my JAMA extender. Came with the switcher package. And basically what you'll do is look for your 12 volt. Well, just the power on one end. Yeah, the power on one end, you know, and hook it up, you know, like a JAMA harness. To the key. So that side we knew which is going to go in because of where the seventh pin is. On the other side, there it, it's not marked with the seventh pin, no, you gotta, and you it's gotta. all marked in Japanese. But we know since we have the JAMA extenders, we were able to kind of look and match the Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> Basically, you just kind of follow where it's hooked up on the board as your five volt. But where to hook it up on that side, we had to match the Japanese. Yeah, it's. It's right here. So, um, just kind of slide it in there like this. And I got six more of these, but I only need four, because I'm only going to do MK1, 2, 3, and 4. We might throw MK3 in there also. I don't know what the point is since you have ultimate, but I'm sure some hardcore fans might be able to tell me. Here is our kick harness uh, cable. And, oh, I'll crush this little guy. Condenser board's pretty small. Right. Luckily, uh, MK1. I'm going to kind of show what's going on with that. How to try to get a. You need a spotlight on it? Where's my flash? If you want to just kind of point where you're going to plug them in at. Alright, so. Um, this is MK1 at the top, it's got the least amount of pins, and then it's listed on the board. This is MK2, and then um, MK3, and then this is the machine portion. This will actually connect uh, to the jam, or, or the, the, the kick harness. harness come, the kick harness comes from the uh, control panel, up here. So, which is up here. so it's we'll just weird that it's in the middle. Uh, 
distributed out to all the others. Yet, this one's a little older. This was made in 2014. So, on the new, on the other ones I've seen, it's usually here on the bottom for the uh, one that connects to the machine. There's lots of ghosts flying around in the video. Oh, sweet. And orbs. Yeah, we got it. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm just going to show where you kind of it's connected to the top guy here. Kind of obvious. 12 pin connector. And there's a 12 pin connector on the uh, MK1 board. Right here. If I get this to slide on, I'll be amazed because I'm seeing ghosts. See it now? <laughs> oh my god, we should have killed that play choice. Oh, that's pro wrestling. That's a classic. All right. I guess the ghost turned it off and heard me. So. Something went on there? Yep. And basically, you'll just repeat the process for your other boards. Like here are the, the kick harness extenders for MK2. And you just want to put the wires on the right side of the board. Cause that's just logically how it lines up. Man, it's so bright, I can't see. <laughs> oh, we lost all our background music. And then I guess show where the you can see the edge connector on the switcher itself will go to your JAMA harness inside the cabinet. So that's right, how everything exactly. kind of makes its rounds. So yeah, the one that, the JAMA harness is coming off of your control panel and, in, and other wiring inside the cabinet will hook up to here. And then it's nice with the, the extension that you get with all these extenders so you can move around your cabinet fairly easy without having everything bunched up. So we'll probably get on the rest of this tonight and hopefully get a couple of the boards hooked up. Still don't got MK4 yet. but. Um, that's in the works. I'm hoping to get pick that up next week if I'm lucky. But yeah, it's it's coming together. So yeah, I guess really there the next thing to do is start mounting stuff in the cabinet. And... More or less, yeah. We're, we're gonna mount this guy, put MK3 on the back side of it, uh, pull MK2 out of the uh, punch out cab in here. I'll have a down cab for a while, which I hate to have. But until I get that adapter in. For a punch we, out? Yeah, we can always hack it, but man, I hate to hack that perfect harness. Right. Um, yeah, this this guy should be, we should be playing this later on this evening. Um, so hopefully. We'll definitely be ready for Mo Game Con, though, that's for sure. <laughs> we got plenty of time. I thought that was going to be in June, but it's always in August. Yeah. So um, I always thought it was earlier in the summer. I don't know why. The summer goes so damn fast is the problem. <laughs> My birthday hits and then. Well, usually uh, around here don't even get a spring, so right. just rains for a few weeks and then it's summertime. Ready for spring right now. Right. But yeah, so uh, we got a lot of the parts that we needed to get this far and basically get it in the cabinet and be able to switch to different versions of MK. Um, we'll definitely have two and three and one in here. Let's say we got to do a little work to this board, whoever. I got this board, it was one of my first uh, pickups back in the day, I drove to Chicago to pick it up and they've they've rigged, uh, there should be a ribbon cable from here to here I'm assuming, this is the sound board, and they've uh, soldered wires as their connections. In. Straight to the connectors. Yeah, <laughs> and they've uh, Bush fix. come undone, so I, I can kind of see where they're supposed to go, but we'll, we'll go ahead and look up and make sure we get the pins, and we'll redo their work. So even though it's bush, what would you say bushmaster? Bush fix. Bush fix. We're gonna leave the bush fix because we don't have the ribbon cables for either. right now. Yeah. Anyway. So heck yeah. Once we get this guy going, maybe we'll do an arcade walk. Y'all want to see the arcade? <laughs> Y'all seen the whole thing? It is rumored I might have an arcade in my bathroom. <laughs>
That'll be interesting. Keep looking out. Keep watching. See ya. Thanks.